Researchers at MIT believe that genetically engineered mice are the future of combating Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a huge problem here in Massachusetts. We report on stories many times. In fact, some of the highest infection rates in the country are on Nantucket. Researchers believe the island is an ideal location to test out the mice, and if it works, they could be used on the mainland. Boston 25 News anchor Sarah Underwood traveled to Nantucket to learn more about this island experiment. On this picturesque island with endless white sand beaches and cobblestone streets, Nantucket residents are considering a radical approach to fight a disease that's haunted the island for decades. I suddenly was just totally fatigued, and then I had this bullseye rash. Local painter Ilya Keegan was first diagnosed with Lyme disease when he was a teenager. It was a few years later when it came back that scared him. I woke up one morning and half my face didn't work. Dr. Timothy Lapry estimates 30% of households here have been plagued with Lyme disease. The ticks are lurking right in there. It's the ticks that spread Lyme disease, and Nantucket has a big tick problem. It's so bad, they're flirting with an idea that would allow scientists to release hundreds of thousands of genetically engineered mice onto the island. Ticks aren't born infected. They usually get infected when they bite an infected mouse. This is the genetic island effect. The idea came from Dr. Kevin Esbelt, who leads the Sculpting Evolution Group at MIT. They want to create mice that are immune to tick-borne illnesses. We'll disrupt the cycle of transmission and there will be many fewer infected ticks in the environment and therefore many fewer human infections. There's also the option of altering genes so ticks won't feed on the mice. So ticks that bite the mice, well the mice will taste bad, sort of like mouse blood becomes hot sauce and so the ticks will fall off. Most of them won't find another host and so they'll die. The hope is to flood Nantucket with enough of these mice that they would pass the immunity gene down to their offspring for multiple generations. So that is the target of our uh, mission is modifying the genes of this mouse, which is the white-footed mouse. In fact, there is a tick on this guy's ear. Dr. Sam Telford is a professor of infectious disease at Tufts University and has been working with Esbelt on the Nantucket experiment. He says the spike in Lyme disease is not confined to the island. Almost 9,000 cases of Lyme disease have been reported across the state in the last two years. And if this experiment works, Telford thinks the mice could eventually be used to combat tick-borne illness on the mainland. The first step is convincing residents like Betsy Brooks. What does this mean about our indoor-outdoor cats or our birds of prey? How is that going to affect them if they eat the genetically modified mice? Brooks was pregnant with twins when she contracted Lyme disease four years ago and now worries about her children when they go out and play. It's, it's terrifying. From a scientist's point of view, I find it absolutely fascinating. Malcolm McNabb, chairman of the Nantucket Board of Health, is open to the idea of tinkering with Mother Nature. And he says, surprisingly, so are many locals. This actually makes sense. But we will see. I could be wrong. The plan is to first test the mice on an uninhabited island before releasing them on Nantucket, which Esfeld estimates is at least seven years away, and that's if everything goes perfectly. It ultimately comes down to a vote from Nantucket residents. So, in the meantime, use common sense and take regular precautions when headed out for a hike. If you see a moving freckle, it's a tick. I'm Sarah Underwood, Boston 25 News.